This activity is an example of a longer question in the exam. We all want exam tips. Now I'm going to give you a great exam tip. Now I'm not going to give you the answer to this question. I'm going to show you how does one address an exam question. Where does one start? Well, one must read the question carefully. The question is, use the ISLM model to show and explain by referring to events in the goods and financial market how an increase in taxation impacts the level of output and income. Underlining the keywords forces us to read the question carefully. But what do we really want? What is expected from us? Let's read the question again. And we're going to rephrase it slightly. Use the ISL model to show and explain how an increase in taxation impacts the level of output and income by referring to events in the goods and financial markets. This brings us to what is expected from us. We must use the ISL model to show and explain the impact of an increase in taxation. This is really what is expected from us. We use the ISL model to show the impact of an increase in taxes. Now taxes form part of fiscal policy. So we can write down we busy with fiscal policy. But we have an increase in taxes, so it's a fiscal contraction. Fiscal policy form part of the goods market. And we have an increase in taxes. Now the increase in taxes leads to a decrease in disposable income. We as consumers have less to spend, so consumption spending will decrease leading to a decrease in demand for goods and services. The decrease in demand for goods and services leads to a decrease in the output level. But we know consumption spending and investment spending are functions of the level of output. So consumption spending will decrease and investment spending will also decrease. But the level of output does not only impact on consumption spending and investment spending, it has an impact on the financial market. So now we have to go to the financial market. The decrease in output leads to a decrease in the demand for money. We now have an excess supply of money. So we're going to buy bonds and the price of bonds will increase leading to a decrease in the interest rate. The decrease in the interest rate impacts investment spending. So we move over to the goods market. The decrease in interest rate increases investment spending. Now we have explained the impact of taxes on the level of output. But we still have to show that. An increase in taxes led to a decrease in demand for goods and services. So the ice curve will shift to the left. We started off at output level Y1. Demand for goods and services decreased and a new equilibrium point was established at Y2. So the output level in economy decreased. But we still have to make sure that we've answered everything correctly. Let's have a look. The question referred to the ISLM model. We worked with the ISLM model, yes. We had to show the impact of taxes by referring to the goods market and the financial market. Yes, we've done and we've shown the impact in the goods market and also the financial market. What happens to the level of output? Yes, we've seen level of output decreases. But we also had to show this. The demand for goods and services decreased, therefore the ice curve shifted to the left, decreasing the level of output from Y1 to Y2. We now have covered all the key elements of the question. But if you really want to impress your examiner, you should refer to the interest rate, 
We started off initial position, output level Y1, and interest rate I1. Now, because of the fiscal contraction, output level decreased, led to a decreased demand for money, decreasing the interest rate. And we can see it here as well. The equilibrium interest rate decreased to Y2. Apart from that, here we have a change in demand for goods and services, leading to a change in the level of output. And the change in level of output spills over to a change in consumption spending and investment spending. But what lies behind this? The multiplier. Yes, here we have the multiplier process in reverse because we have a decrease in the level of output. These two points, though not specifically referred to in the question, adds value to your answer. A decrease in the interest rate and the negative multiplier effect. The only thing I would like to add is that using an event chain is a short way of putting the sequence of events. But the question refer and expect us to explain. This is not an explanation. You must write this out in full sentences. To make it easier for yourself, you can just quickly, in the exam, write down the events chain. And then, underneath that, in full sentence, you just describe and you take each step of the events chain and write out in full sentences, we are in the goods market. We have an increase in taxes, and this increase in taxes leads to a decrease in disposable income. Therefore, and so you carry on with the events chain. I can assure you, if you know your content and you do it this way, you will do really, really well.